Okay, so I went and got copper and refined it into chromatic metal. So now we can finish the bolt caster. And while we're at it, I have enough chromatic metal with the copper that I refine to fix stuff in the ship. So I'll fix the hull fracture. And now let's see, my shield strength is 327.4. Now it's 338.8 using the supercharged slot. Let's see, this also takes chromatic metal. Now I need pugnium, and you can get pugnium by killing um, sentinels. So that's a possibility. So I have three open slots down here and plenty of open tech slots. Okay. Save the game. Oh, and I have to refill my oxygen. So you go in and out of the ship to do an auto save. Plenty of oxygen. I'll put this on the starship. And let's craft more ammunition. That costs 50 ferrite dust per 1250. I have plenty of ferrite. So let's go for like 5,000. Okay, you ready? Let's see if we can raid this resource depot. Resource depot. I think the Lemium is the most valuable. My cave's pretty good. So they can't attack me from multiple sides. G to switch guns. See? And I got... What did I get? Five Lemium worth 125,000. That's not going to be enough. That gives me Pugnium. This narrow way prevents them from attacking me on multiple sides.
Aerox is worth 125,000. Milestone accomplished. Novice destroyed five cents. got pugnium so we'll need some platinum let's go sell the stuff Awakenings explore nearby planets or search in a new system. Access the galaxy map with X. New mission available. I guess that would be in the computer archive. So you know the entrance is where the hexagon is. So it must be on the other side. There it is. get around 250k I think. Sell. Lemium, 129,000. Herox, 130,000. Three quarters of a million and we want uh, let's see. If we upload our discoveries, 685 nanites. Let's go to the other station and get the, um, the scanner upgrade.
center upgrade will give us more money. Journey milestone accomplished. Entrepreneur earned 768,289 units. Remember, we want that too. I'm not reading a lot of these because they don't seem as relevant to the plot. Purchase upgrade modules. Scanner module. Now E to install. Okay, scanner range is 200. Now it's 270. And I get almost 10,000 towards minerals uh -huh. and 7,500 towards fauna. Minerals and fauna. Uh -huh. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Have space for one more upgrade. All right, let's go to the base computer and see what the update is there. Automated archive recovery in progress. Data recovered, 6% new data available. Um, search archives. Entry follows. Found additional buried technology modules. Construction proceeding smoothly. Recent expedition yielded. X copying data to X Additional data available. Construction logs recovered. Blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. Search construction database. Base technology data extracted. Downloading plans. Storage container plans restored. Awesome, just in time. Especially with the ship. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. Leave. I'm going to use that battery near the teleporter for the storage container power as well. So, Z. Storage container. If you have the zero storage container, any base you make the zero container will hold the same items in them. So if I put a ferrite in this storage container here, if I build zero on another base, that one ferrite will be in there. If I take it out uh, at the other base, it will be gone at this one too. We'll power it with the wire. It's from the battery to the storage container. Now you see it's on. And we'll put the pugnium in there. Okay, awesome. That solves a problem, especially since some slots on the ship are taken. Alright, let's interact with the base computer again and see what it gives us. Recovered, archive, encrypted. Input recovery pass key to proceed. Let's try by key. Recovered, archive, encrypted. Input recovery pass key to proceed. Let's try grok. Archive unlocked. 
since we're in a Viking system, I use Viking stuff. Automated archive recovery in progress, data recovered, 15% new data available. Search archives, entry follows. My exhaust exosuit has directed me to a crashed starship. Controls react to my touch and I can only assume it belongs to me. No memory of it, no sense of a before. Sounds like what happened to me. Additional data available, construction logs recovered, blueprints reassembled and prepared for download. Search construction database, base technology extracted, downloading plans. Solar panels, plans restored. Oh, solar panel and battery, nice one. Readable archive retrieval complete, beginning defragmentation next segment. All right, I'm not constructing the solar panel. I'm satisfied. Let's go back to awakenings. The fauna I'm missing. Underwater, underwater, and flying. Go in the water and see if we can scan some fish. Notice I got uh, 20,000 this time. Submerged relic might be worth getting. Back under. Forty thousand. That's what the visor upgrade did for me. Okay, I think we've done what we could do right now. Start heading back up. Pointed it up. Did for us. Ninety-two thousand. Fatal core, a highly pressurized fleshy orb. One can feel a pushback when touched. A flash of bioluminescence stirring in the inky black core of this mysterious object. 92,625 units. And I'm at 895,000. And I have 11 of 12 fauna discovered.
The last one I need is the uncommon flying diurnal. Found all 12. So you see 95 nanites. Register completion, 3,095. Time to go shopping. Journey milestone accomplished. Naturalist discovered all species on one planet. I'm gonna go to the other system and get another upgrade for my visor in order to get even more money by scanning. So I got 40,000 units just for scanning. And you have the additional benefit as you're scanning. If you can get all the fauna, you get all the nanites from finding all of them on a planet. So you get both units and nanites, and then uploading them, you get nanites. And then when you get to the anomaly, you'll sometimes get nanites for those things. So the visor... Um, that gives you the extra unit and helps with the scanning is a major upgrade. Journey milestone accomplished. Traveled Wayfair, four stars, traveled 20 KS. Okay, the last slot I have on my visor. The life form bears several prominent scars and holds themselves with the ferocity of a warrior. I said I wasn't going to read these. They seem out of place in this mercantile role. Gra interloper. All right. Multi tool upgrade. Scanner module. 632. And while we're here, Interloper, me, I, two. Purchase upgrade modules. Let's see, thermal and toxic would be 1,200 total. And radiation would be 1,800. Let's do it. Thermal, toxic, radiation. First this, scanner range 270, scanner range 384, and flora and mineral addition. So I'll have addition a lot to mineral, uh, but flora and fauna also, awesome. And this one, Okay, so I have radiation, no, toxic protection and radiation protection, and thermal protection. All right, well, 
next episode. Oh, wait. One more. Let's see if we can get something for the start. Because we have some text slots. in the next episode uh, we will continue with the Awakenings quest we'll access the galaxy map and explore a new system